chapter 22, the first book of Moses, Genesis, chapter 22. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee of. Damn, this is, where, this is like that. Behold, here I am. And he said, Take thou... Take now thy son, thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee of. This is like that. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and saddled his ass, and took two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son, and cleft the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up, and went unto the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide you here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son, and he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both of them together. And Isaac spoke unto Abraham his father and said, My father, here am I. My son, and he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together, and they came to the place which God had told them of. And Abraham built an altar there, and laid the wood in order, and bound Isaac his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand, and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven, and said, Abraham, Abraham. I think some must have been fucking scared. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thy hand upon the lad, neither do you anything unto him. For I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withhold thy son, thy only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day, and the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. A ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time and said, By myself I have sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing, and thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because you hast obeyed my voice. So Abraham returned unto his young men, and they rose up and went together to Beersheba, and Abraham dwelt at Beersheba. And it came to pass after these things that it was told Abraham, saying, Behold, Milcah, she hath also borne children unto thy brother Nahor, Huz his firstborn, and Buzz his brother, and Camuel the father of Aram, and Chesed, and Hazo, and Pildash, and Jidlaf, and Nahor, Abraham's brother. And his concubine, whose name was Ruma, she bore also Teba, Gama, Dahash, and Makkah. That was some random shit right there. I don't know, at the end right there, all those names about people being begot, like women and men being together. That's a crazy one, man. Chapter 22, where Abraham is told by the Lord to go kill his son. And he's about to do it. And I can imagine his son being fucking scared, like thinking his dad's crazy. Like, what the fuck? And let's say it is a real story. Like, his son doesn't hear the angel of the Lord. He's like, probably, what happened after that? Like, my dad's about to kill me. Like, why are we going to kill me? Oh, God told me to kill you, to offer you to him. But since at the very last minute, I was about to strike you and kill you and offer you up to God, God said, don't do it. I was testing you to see how much your faith is. 
Like, what's the son going to say? Like, okay, Dad, I'm glad the Lord didn't want you to kill me after all. Like, what the fuck? 